Friday a.m. Eastern, and I say hello to Angelica. Hello, Angelica. Hello, Stephen. Brilliant. And okay. And everybody else. <laughs> and well, and everybody else who's watching, welcome to the show. Uh, this is Ask Angelica with Angelica and Stephen, and today's topic is Dresden. Would you like to speak about the topic for a moment, Angelica? Yes. Well. One reason, well, one reason I'm choosing Dresden is because last week we had, uh, last time we had Hamburg uh, in the north of Germany, and I'd like to move around a little bit, so I thought we'd go to the east. Um, the second reason is that um, we have visited Dresden this year. Yes, we uh, have. The end of July, we went for four days and had a wonderful time. And first I thought I'll choose some sentences based on our visit but then I thought that would be boring for you I mean with you I don't mean the watcher I mean you Stephen and uh -oh. so um there is a little bit in there that you know because I think that probably everybody knows but uh, I thought I'd find some information about Dresden that you may not know and uh, just because I know you like numbers so much it's got numbers in it as well for those who've not watched the show before, welcome. Uh, basically, as Angelica just said, she's put together seven sentences in German. It's my task to actually read them in German, and Angelica will correct my pronunciation. And then together we can go on and translate them. And if we get stuck, Angelica will help us out. So let's make a start with the first phrase today bring the first phrase up on screen and that is uh, Dresden wurde im Mittelalter um das Jahr 1200 gegründet ja Dresden wurde im Mittelalter um das Jahr 1200 gegründet we're off to a good start good right <laughs> okay i was worried with the first one because you never know uh, so <laughs> dresden uh, was founded or built in the year 1200? Yeah, around the year. Around, oh, um, umdas, yeah. around, yeah. about. So about 1200. Mm -hmm. um, in Middle, Middle Alta is Middle Ages? It is. You know, in, in, in England, you've got all your, uh, 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 your, your times uh, sorted according to kings and queens and that. We have, and uh, well, in Germany, we have different ways of looking at the times, and one of those is just Middle Ages, just Mittelalter. Don't ask me from when to when it is because I, I don't I know. Won't. You, 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 you're safe, you're safe. I don't know either. <laughs> well, I do somewhere, but it's, it's not coming to mind at the moment. So, Dresden mm -hmm. was founded in the Middle Ages around the year 1200. Uh, second sentence, Zeit. Accent hundred zwei und fünfzig ist Dresden ein Großstadt, mehr als ein hundred thousand Einwohner. Ja, seit 1852 ist Dresden eine Großstadt, mehr als ein hundred or hundred thousand Einwohner. Uh, okay, let's take a go at this as we're uh, going on. Uh, since 1852, Dresden has been Grosstadt. We've done this before. I know we have. I know we have. I'm racking my brains. Mm -hmm. Grosstadt. City? State? St city? Yeah, just a city. Just a city. Uh, yeah. and it's got more than 100,000. It had more than 100,000 inhabitants. Well, it, it has. Um, I've, I've put that in there because uh, uh, I'm not sure what it is in, in America, but in England, uh, for example, uh, we have towns and cities, and a city means it's got a university or a cathedral. So yeah. you can have places of equal size, and one of them is a town, the other one is a city. Mm -hmm. uh, in Germany, we have three types of towns. So town is Stadt, and we have Kleinstadt, Mittelstadt, and Großstadt. Ah, Klein, yeah. Kleinstadt is a town with, and I've written it down because I can't remember okay. otherwise, I wouldn't be any good at Dragon's Den, uh, 5,000 to 20,000 inhabitants. So uh -huh. if a town goes up to that number, it is only a small town, a Kleinstadt. Uh, from 20,000 to 100,000, that's called a Mittelstadt. Now, that's a word I haven't really heard much. I don't think in sort of day-to-day 
normal spoken German, we use that word, we would just use a town, but um, based on the inhabitants, that's how it's divided. And any town that has got more than 100,000 is a Großstadt or a city. Mm. Das bedeutet, die Weise ist ein Mittelstadt. Uh, if it's got more than 20,000, yes. Hmm. It has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the, the translation which we've uh, been through is Dresden has been a city since 1852, more than 100,000 inhabitants. And on to phrase three, uh, which reads... Im Zweiten Weltkrieg wurde viel von Dresden zerstört. Zerstört. Ja. Im Zweiten Weltkrieg wurde viel von Dresden zerstört. We continue with that sentence in a minute. But this okay. part first. Okay. Uh, Krieg is a war. Welt is a world. So in World War and Zweiten is second. So in the Second World War, uh, much of Dresden was destroyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so there we are. The English translation. Uh, nope, no, it's not the English translation. <laughs> hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. That's like me translating something from German into English, and I just say the same sentence, sentence again because sometimes <laughs> I don't even know which language I am. <laughs> understood. Understood. Um, so during World War Two, much of Dresden was destroyed. So, and this is a continuation of that sentence. Yeah. Right. I've got to ask you about this, but I'm going to say, who are Alka die Frauenkirche? That would be a good guess, except we don't say who are. We, this, this is obviously an abbreviation. And yeah. uh, when we read something like this, we read it as if it had been spelled out. And that would be unter anderem. Amongst others. Exactly. Unter anderem auch die Frauenkirche. Uh, also the church. Well, it's called the Frauenkirche, so that's its real name, isn't it? So yeah. we stay with that. Uh, so translation is, I'm going to get the right one this time, um, including the Frauenkirche. Yeah. Yeah. So just to yes. repeat the abbreviation here, it is... Unter anderem. Unter anderen. Yeah. So when you okay. said amongst others, it's it's a, a, a pretty good literal translation. Right. Press five. It takes a bit to write, so we just write U A. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. That's the next. Oh, ah, you've had the translation. Ah, <laughs> uh, they, they all know now. They all know I've got the translation oh, in front of me. Oh, we've managed three seasons, and this is a fourth episode. Of, well, Never mind. you can still forget. read the date anyway. It's true. Seit dem Jahr 2005 gibt es sie wieder. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Don't even uh, need to correct it. Anything. <laughs> since 2005. Uh, is, is this sentence continued or is it? No. Sort of, it's complete. It can be a separate sentence. Gibt es. Uh, Hmm. No, I'm, I'm struggling with this because it's well, established or gives or... Well, normally when we have es gibt, uh, we translate it there is. Um, that wouldn't quite no. look that good. So I would use here, it. it is in this case, it uh, is Z, die Frauenkirche, and uh, exists. Ah. Okay, so it refers back to the Crown Kirche and it's yeah. been rebuilt or brought back since 2005 or starting in 2005. No, it is back, it was back in 2005. Right, okay. So it's been a long time for us before we actually went to see it. Yeah, yeah, that's 14 years. We were fortunate enough to actually go to a service on the Sunday. Mm. And it is a magnificent place and the choirs and the, well, it's just, the One of those days where you get a, yeah. a, a special feeling in, in a special place. So, phrase five translates as since the year 2005, it exists again. Okay, so it's been rebuilt. Phrase six. Oh, no, yes. no, it works. Good. Well, the break works, yeah. 
I'm yeah. not sure about the long words though. <laughs> <laughs> Menschen aus ganz Deutschland und anderen Ländern haben für den Aufbau gespendet. Ja, Menschen aus ganz Deutschland und anderen Ländern haben für den Aufbau gespendet. Uh, people from Germany and from other lands have um, gespendet. Aufbau. Visited? No. No, spenden, the verb spenden is to donate. Ah, right, okay. Uh, people from Germany and people from, from other lands have donated for the rebuilding. Exactly. And ganz Deutschland, sort of all over Germany. Yeah. yeah. So Aufbau is, is building. Yeah, the reconstruction. Yeah. Reconstruction. Build again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got the uh, translation, the official translation, uh, which is going to be on screen as soon as I find it. No, no, it's not. Oh, good. Um, official translation is people from all over Germany and other countries have donated for the reconstruction. Okay, now with all seriousness, for a seven. Press 7. Dresden is eine der grünsten Städte Europas. Europas. Dresden, Eur yeah. <laughs> yeah. Euro, Euro, Europas, yeah. Europas, I, I, yeah. one day, one day, the, one day. The EU, if every, whenever you see uh, EU within a German word, just think of oi. Dresden yeah. is eine der grünsten Städte Europas. Uh, Dresden, Dresden is one of the greenest European cities. Yeah. Okay, and just to check that. Yes. Okay, and that's without remembering the translation. And then phrase number eight. Um, I'm just reading. A little bit of useless or useful information. <laughs> Melita Benz aus Dresden hat die Kaffee Filter Teute erfunden. Nearly Tute. Tute. Still Tute, Tute with the M. Yeah, okay. Melita Benz aus Dresden hat die Kaffee Filter Tute erfunden. Right. I bet okay. you didn't know that. I do now. <laughs> well, I have to Benz... say, I didn't know that either. No. Right. Okay. So Melita Benz from Dresden uh, her invented or found or yep. made or uh, created invented a yeah. uh, cafe coffee mm -hmm. filter is the same as english i guess coffee filter tutor tutor what is tutor tutor is a bag a filter coffee bag you mean the, the paper bag that goes inside the coffee filter yeah the one that we don't use anymore now because the coffee machines have got uh, 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 permanent little mesh thingies right Okay, that's good. So she's from Dresden. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't know you didn't even know who. Well, Melita right. is is the the brand name in Germany for those coffee filters, and yeah. uh, now we know why because that was Indeed. her first name. Yeah, and Dresden is a, a beautiful city, and uh, we had some great walks there, didn't mm. we? Oh, we did. And a shout out for the food as well because we yes. went to. The, different restaurant most nights and enjoyed a wide variety of German cooking and uh, it was very special and of course we drank German wine and German beer so it, all in all it was a very German experience and Dresden is a beautiful place if you do get a chance to visit then there are places that you can look out for especially the Crown Kirscher if you're going to be there be, be there on a Sunday yeah so that you can actually go to a service mm. I mean, you can go in anyway, but um, as we were there the weekend, uh, I thought it was appropriate to actually join in the service. It's it was really special. good. And it's a great way to learn German because yeah. the service itself, obviously, is in German. So there you are, another way to learn German. Mm -hmm. Angelica, would you like to close the show? Okay, well, that was our trip to Dresden, our real trip to Dresden. And... Uh, not sure yet where we go in two weeks' time. I'll find something else of interest, uh, which means um, it's just for me. Uh, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I've oh. forgotten something. 
Oh, right. Would okay. you like to read the sentences again properly? <laughs> okay. Dresden wurde im Mittelalter um das Jahr 1200 gegründet. Seit 1852 ist Dresden eine Großstadt mit mehr als 100.000 Einwohnern. Im Zweiten Weltkrieg wurde viel von Dresden zerstört. Unter anderem auch die Frauenkirche. Seit dem Jahr 2005 gibt es sie wieder. Menschen aus ganz Deutschland und anderen Ländern haben für den Aufbau gespendet. Dresden ist eine der grünsten Städte Europas. Ah, sorry. I was listening to you. <lacht> und Melissa Benz aus Dresden hat die Kaffeefiltertüte erfunden. Now it's time to say you. <lacht> so we say it all again. Oh, we'll see you in two weeks time and I'll leave you with Tschüss von mir. <lacht> und Tschüss von mir. Ah. Uh...